a very good afternoon students welcome to the channel by seema makijani class 10 students we are going to do the topic of the day as a special trend of properties as you move down the group in the modern periodic table so that is the most important section of this chapter unit 5 cbse class 10 uh in case you are struggling with any other topics you can have a look at my playlist of periodic classification of elements class 10 you would find videos on how to learn up the periodic table how to place the element in the periodic table the new lens the dobrunner's triads a comparative study of the modern as compared to mendeleev's periodic table apart from that you would also come across a very good video on trends of properties across a period as you go from left to right so today we are doing the trends of properties down the group now when we talk about groups groups beta are vertical you have to move down and for today's class i have taken two groups one is group number 2 and the other is group number 17 one is to the left of the periodic table the other is towards the right of the periodic table i have deliberately taken the two extreme ends towards the periodic table okay now let's begin with the atomic number i have started with beryllium now what is the atomic number of beryllium beryllium has an atomic number of 4 magnesium magnesium has an atomic number of 12 calcium calcium has atomic number of 20 up to 20 atomic number you are expected to know coming to the protons protons are same as the number of z that is the atomic number so your atomic number is always defined as the number of protons so the protons would be 4 12 and 20 respectively coming to the electrons since i'm talking about the species beryllium magnesium and calcium metals they are neither anions nor are they cations you can see there is no charge on them since they have no charge therefore protons would be equal to electrons hence the electrons are 4 12 and 20 fine now coming to the electronic configuration when i talk about electronic configuration i need to place the electrons in these shells i have four electrons so the ec would be two in the first shell and then two in the second shell respectively fine so moving on to the electronic configuration you have two here and two in the second coming to this magnesium two then eight then two coming to calcium two eight eight and then two let us talk about the valence electrons what are the valence electrons the electrons of the last shell valence electrons always refers to the last shell now what is the last shell here l shell how many valence electrons are there two which is the last shell in magnesium this how many valence electrons two again calcium valence electrons two so the valence electron remains constant coming to valency how do you find the valency how do you define valency valency is called as the combining capacity of an element how do you calculate it either it is equal to the valence electrons or it is equal to 8 minus the valence electrons whichever is less what is the valence electrons here 2 in all the cases and if i talk about 8 minus the valence electron kar do 8 mein se 2 minus 8 minus 2 is 6 which is smaller 2 or 8 minus 2 whichever is smaller so the valency here is 2 again so the combining capacity of all these elements is true since the valency is 2 they will have similar chemical properties is that okay the chemical properties depend upon the valency or the electronic configuration or the valence electrons fine now nature of the elements when i talk about the nature of the elements all elements if they have valence electrons 1 2 and 3 are called as metals because they have a tendency to lose electrons so i would say beryllium has two electrons in the outermost shell so it is a metal i am putting an m magnesium also has two electron on the outermost shell it is also a metal and out of this calcium again has two electrons in the outermost shell this is also a metal so the three of them would come under the category of metals now you need to tell me which out of these three can easily lose electron the answer is this is most metallic now why so down the group as you go down 
you can see the size is increasing the number of shells are increasing which means ye wale do electron nucleus se bahut dur hai as you move down shells are increasing jo electron lose karne wo kaun se hain the valence electrons and the valence electrons are moving away from the nucleus so it can be easily lost hence the last member of the groups is the most metallic in the periodic table also an important information here is that your metallic oxides are basic and non metallic oxides are acidic therefore if i talk about these three these are metallics this is less metallic this is more metallic and this is most metallic so out of these three as i go down the group the metallic character is increasing since it is most metallic more metallic oxides are basic so i can say that calcium oxide will be the most basic oxide of this group number 2 have i made myself clear so down the group the metallic character is increasing and the basic character of oxides would also increase now coming to the second group that i have taken is group number 17 now how is group number 17 different let's talk about the atomic number first talking about the atomic number of fluorine the atomic number of fluorine is how much 9 chlorine it is 17 you do not need to learn for bromine but i required three elements so i am taking bromine as an example so that you understand it a little better otherwise for class 10th you have to learn only up to atomic number 10 sorry 20 so you have 35 here now the number of protons is same as the number of atomic number that is so 9 because atomic number is defined as number of protons so this is 17 this is 35 since they are neutral the electrons would be same as the protons so 9 17 and 35 now let's talk about the electronic configuration when i talk about fluorine the electrons would be 2 and 7 when i talk about chlorine it would be 2 8 and 7 now this you actually do not know but i am giving you as an information 35 you have 2 then 8 then 18 and after that you are left still left with 7 so as you can see the number of valence electrons again is same in these three so the valence electrons are 7 7 and 7 valency is defined as the combining capacity how do you calculate it it is either equal to the valence electrons or 8 minus the valence electrons whichever is less so the valence electrons are 7 and 8 minus 7 is 1 now which is less 1 so the valency would be 1 now what do you think these elements should be should they gain electrons or should they lose electrons you very well know when the elements have 5 6 and 7 valence electrons they have a tendency to gain electrons so all these elements will gain electrons and they are non metallic in nature i am talking about group 17 they are non metallic hence we say this is a non metal this is also a non metal and this is also a non metal now non metals have a tendency to gain electrons we will come to the comparative study of non metallic character towards the end of this particular class now let's move on to the properties here as you go down the group you can check either this group or this group fine you would find the same answers number of protons now what is happening to number of protons number of protons are increase increasing 4 12 20 9 17 and 35 so whether you talk about group 17 or group number 2 the number of protons is increasing down the group coming to number of electrons again electrons is same as number of protons number of electrons is also as you can see increasing number of occupied shells now as i go from beryllium it has got two occupied shells kl magnesium klm calcium klmn so the number of shells are increasing by 1 as we move down is that okay the shells are increasing here you can see it here also fluorine has two shells occupied chlorine has three and bromine has four of them now talking about the attraction between 
the outermost electron and the nucleus. अब बेटा अगर shell बढ़ता जाएगा तो the nucleus ये रहा nucleus. First member में सिर्फ दो shells हैं बेरिलियम की बात करें Coming to magnesium the shell increases. Coming to calcium the shell further increases. So the attraction जब electron यहाँ है यहाँ है और यहाँ है As you move down पहले यहाँ होता है फिर it goes here then it goes here. So the distance is increasing. Attraction between nucleus and the outermost shell will decrease. Therefore, the last electron is held loosely. Fine. Atomic radius or size. As I move down, as you can see, the shells are increasing, and the shell is moving away from the nucleus. We agree that proton or electron to bad hai. But the electron is added to the new shell, which means it is away from the nucleus as you move down. Therefore, the atomic size or the radius again is said to increase down the group. Increases down the group. Whether you talk about group number two or you talk about group number seventeen, shells are increasing, so the atomic size or the radius would definitely increase. Now valence electrons and valency. What is the valence electrons here? Two. So that is constant. The valency also constant. In this group, what are the valence electrons? Seven. Valency one. So the answer for this would be valence electron and valency remain constant. No change. Therefore, it is because of this that they are constant and they are same. They have similar chemical. properties in a group the elements have similar chemical properties coming to the metallic character or electropositivity they are the same electropositivity ka matlab electrons ke karan positive which means loss of electron so when we talk about metallic character we are talking about tendency to lose electrons Now, when I talk about tendency to lose electrons, it is understandable. I am talking about group number two. Group number seventeen, so beta electron gain karega na. So group number two ki jab hum baat karte hain, because they are metals. Niche jaate hue, the size is increasing. Outermost shell is going away from the nucleus, which means it is not held tightly. Matlab ye wala electron nikalna easy. So the electron tendency to lose will become easier. So metallic character increases. Hence. the most basic the most metallic element is calcium since metallic oxides are basic so if you are asked which is the most basic oxide in group you would always say the last member the last member would always form the most basic oxide if you are talking about metals fine now when we talk about non metals coming to the non metallic character now what do i mean when i say it is the non metallic character non metallic character ka matlab hota hai tendency to gain electron up which group am i talking about the 17th yahi to electron gain karenge now jiska beta size chhota hai it is closer to the nucleus to wo electron gain aasani se karega agar size pehle hi bahut bada hai the electrons are away from the nucleus they are not held tightly which means a new electron would be difficult to hold on because this element may प्रोटॉन्स आर नॉट एबल टू होल्ड ऑन टू दीज इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इलेक्ट्रॉन्स जाते जा रहे हैं दूर ये ही नहीं पकड़ पाए हैं टाइटली तो नया इलेक्ट्रॉन कैसे पकड़ेंगे तो गेन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन विल बिकम डिफिकल्ट एज यू गो डाउन इन ग्रुप नंबर सेवनटीन विच मीन्स वेन वी टॉक अबाउट नॉन मेटालिक कैरेक्टर इट इज ऑलवेज द स्मॉलर साइज एलिमेंट इज मोर नॉन मेटालिक बेटा जब बड़ा वाला मेटालिक है तो छोटा वाला हैज टू बी नॉन मेटालिक सो दिस इज मोस्ट non metallic in group number 17 so when we talk about metallic we talk about the last member and when we talk about non metallic we talk about the first member non metallic character is the tendency to gain electron and this tendency to gain an electron niche jaate hue kam ho rahi hai kyunki iska size badh raha hai the electron gain becomes difficult usse apne electron hi nahi sambhal rahe so naya electron to dur aayega to attraction kam ho jayega to electron gain is difficult so the non metallic character decreases therefore is hisab se if i ask you group number 17 mein group number 17 mein 
विच इज मोस्ट नॉन मेटेलिक ग्रुप नंबर सेवनटीन में एफ इज मोस्ट नॉन मेटेलिक इज दैट क्लियर सो विच इज मोस्ट इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिव इन ग्रुप सेवनटीन एफ नॉन मेटेलिक कैरेक्टर एंड इलेक्ट्रोनेगेटिविटी कैरेक्टर एक बात होती है बेटा नाउ बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ ऑक्साइड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड बट स्टिल आई डू इट वंस अगैन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स मेटेलिक ऑक्साइड्स आर बेसिक तो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मेटल्स विच इज मोस्ट मेटेलिक कैल्शियम सो बेसिक कैरेक्टर ऑफ ऑक्साइड्स एज यू गो डाउन द ग्रुप वेन यू गो डाउन द ग्रुप मेटेलिक कैरेक्टर इंक्रीजेस अगर मेटेलिक कैरेक्टर बढ़ेगा तो बेसिक कैरेक्टर भी बढ़ेगा हेंस मोस्ट मेटेलिक इज कैल्शियम फाइन न वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द साइज अटोमिक साइज एंड द अटोमिक रेडियस इन ग्रुप टू इफ आई टॉक अबाउट सबसे बड़ा साइज किसका होगा कैल्शियम क्योंकि उसके शेल ज्यादा है सबसे छोटा रेडियस किसका होगा ग्रुप टू में बेरिलियम क्योंकि उसके शेल कम है सिमिलरली ग्रुप सेवनटीन में आओ साइज किसका छोटा होगा जिसके शेल्स कम है यानी फ्लोरिन साइज किसका बड़ा होगा जिसके शेल्स ज्यादा है यानी ब्रोमीन इज दैट ओके सो वेन यू टॉक अबाउट मूविंग डाउन द ग्रुप द लार्जेस्ट एलिमेंट इज ऑलवेज फाउंड एट द बॉटम and the smallest will be found at the top fine so when we talk about non metallic oxides which are acidic or non metallic character kahan pe hota hai upar metallic characters kahan pe zyada hai as you move down non metallic kahan milta hai this is most non metallic so non metallic character will which is the acidic character of the oxides this non metallic oxide character that is acidic character of oxides if i am talking about acidic character of the oxides i am talking about non metallic oxides kaun se hai non metallic yahan pe ye wale which is most non metallic ye wala to yahi most acidic hoga na to niche jaane mein acidic character kam hota hai so acidic character of oxides decreases on moving down the group is that okay so i have kind of completed all the properties that you should know on moving down the group in a periodic table the modern periodic table so jab bhi aap niche jaoge size badhega size badhega to electron lose karna easy to metallic character badhega or in case of 17th 8th and 15th and 16th group 16th 15 16th and 17th which are non metals to niche jaate hue size badh raha hai the non metallic character will decrease non metallic character means tendency to gain electrons to agar inko electron gain karna hai to electron gain karna mushkil hota jata hai as you go down kyun kyunki size badh raha hai to attraction kam ho raha aur agar attraction kam hoga to electron gain kaise hoga niche jate hue attraction is decreasing to electron lose karna aasan hai gain karna mushkil so metallic character badhta hai non metallic kam hota hai so as you move down the group the conclusion therefore is metallic character to increase hota hai and non metallic character decrease hota hai fine with this i conclude the class i hope you have liked the video please keep subscribing and sharing it with your other friends of class 10th of your school as well as other schools thanks a ton bless you all do well in life Stay safe. Goodbye.